okay guys welcome back okay so this is uh, video 2 for pnet okay we'll see how to load our images in the pnet and then we can uh, create our lab with the images okay all right so before we start let's check out this okay so uh, let's check out this let's look at my explorer um, where i kept my downloaded application so i have it here uh, pnet so this is where my applications are so win scp installing that i'll be installing this and i'll be installing this as well and then this as well is very important so i'll be installing this as well okay so uh, i'll make a link available that you can download these applications from my end okay let's look at this you can see i have the evng pro version 4 okay but as, as i said earlier on uh, i like the version 4.2 okay so evp eve sorry eve full when i click and then we have these two folders this is where your images are supposed to be okay each folder has a corresponded image that is support so let me double click that bin so you have i have downloaded some images here which i can load okay i'll show you how to download the images and this one as well here so there are two ways to download these images so it's either you download it using your torrent file which also i'll be adding it to the applications here uh, and i'll send the link below now or you can actually download uh, the images directly in the ev eng okay i'll show you how to do that as well so let's get digging okay so now let me install my putty next next so i like to enable this as well so install uh, yes uh, i don't want to do any readme so close so since i'm done i'm going to install this as well that's the eveng client okay so i'll go for yes next next so now you can see this is going to install wireshark 3.06 for me so i'll go in for yes now you can see i can take this to install what ultra vnc but i have the newer version here okay as you can see here i have the newer version so compared to this so that is why i'll not check this book i'll install this myself so i'll install this with the wireshark next okay now look at this uh, wireshark table already as this would you like to uninstall and then first yes so let me just do that okay i just want to show you how to install that right so next so where shark start yes and i want all this so i'll leave them next this is what it's going to be next and then next if i want the usb cap as well i'll check i don't need that one install
so complete so I'll go in for next and then finish and then finish as well so I'm done with installing this I'm done with installing this so now I have to install this because I didn't check it I didn't check the box sorry when I was uh, installing that ultra VNC startup yes okay accept agreement and lances next 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 okay so for this i'll only check i'll check this so i'll leave these two ones there so next great no next and then install so next and then what finish installing show latest version i don't want that so all right so here i have win pickup okay if i need that i'll come for that so i need to install this win scp so i'll have to install that as well so I'm going for install all users. Yes. So accept typical next recommended next and then install. Okay. Do you have a store session site or Putty, do you want to import that is if I want to import any session from Putty. So if I go for yes, that means I need to import this particular session. I don't want that, so actually you should go for it. no, okay? Because I already have installed Putty which I use it for a configuration, that is why it's asking me for that. Launch and then get startup page. Uh, okay, I can go for no and uh, okay, let me go for finish So this is the interface. So I'll open that letter. Let me close this. So I'm done installing my applications. So now um, Let's see how we can connect to the our pnet so I can Close the uh, interface of this particular pnet so let's check out my browser so 192.168.174.100 yep so you can see here i've actually logged in before so i have saved my credential so i have to enter this token here so login so in the previous session we've seen how towards uh create a lab okay if you can see i've created a lab but uh i don't have uh, any device in here right to load so when i right click i go for node you can see i don't have any device in here so what i will do here is uh, let me uh, log out good nice i've logged out so what i will do here is i have to load my images now i have two ways of doing this so it's either let me bring my browser once more again so it's either you download this software okay torrent software okay i'm browsing to my software session so this is the software tizati okay and then you can get it's a small software when you go to google tizati so you can see download so when you go to their page so here you can see i have uh, 
for Windows 6432 Linux, okay, whichever uh, operating system you are using, you can download for such operating system and then install. So when you install, you need to get your file, okay. So let me browse to my file. I already have my file in here. So uh, pnet. So this is it. This is my torrent file. Okay, you can see it's 230 gig. So let me, you can see from Cisco, Juniper, Palo Auto, and other devices. So I can double click this. So you can see my, it's opening it with my Tizati. So you can see it's downloaded according to what the folders needed in the pnet so if i click this you can see the images that i can download for this particular folder coming from all type of flavors okay all type of flavors okay all types so let me bring this one bring this one down this one to has all type of flavors and then this as well okay so depending on what you want and what you need you can select and then you download so you can deselect everything okay i've just deselect everything right so if i want a specific one like this so i can uh, go in for let's say uh, okay this is 230 megabyte maybe i want only this so i can just click this and then go for start and it's going to download that specific file for me because you know, I'm actually downloading some stuff here so it's actually running at uh, the background so for now I want it to download um, what do you call what did I select okay good I want it to download this particular uh, image for me so it's going to download that you can see uh, it has started and it's going is downloading so if you want the whole thing then you have to what, uh, check everything and then to download every image for you all right so i'm going to stop this and then close because i already downloaded uh, some here based on the folder so if you check here i have this uh, in place so um what i have in the cisco devices i can actually use these images so i'll show you how to load these images as well as what to download okay so let's see how to load the images in the pnet right so now to load an image here you need um, the and then going for win scp okay this is very software so double click because we've installed it earlier right now what i'll do is i have to um uh, ssh to that particular what, uh, device which is my pnet device looking at the, the ip is 192.168.1 174.100 so uh, i'm going to put the ip address here okay so that will be 192.168.174.100 now the port you leave it as default the username is going to be root okay and then the password pnet because i never changed my password if you change yours you should provide that particular ip sorry that particular password here so you're going for login now we have save okay you can actually save it down so that next time you don't enter all this uh, ip and credentials so i can go for save so you can see here this is what it says so i can go for save password this one is not recommended because uh, uh, if uh, maybe somebody hack into your machine and need you uh, and you just click on it to be able to get in but this is for practical purpose so I just go in for ok so I'll go for login 
so now you can see here i have an ssh algorithm and an encryption key sent to my machine to authenticate my machine between my host machine and the pnet software so i'll go for it yes i have to accept and then now i have to put my password so pnet so enter so now it's in so i have to what enlarge this now you see here i have two sessions i have my host machine and i have the pnet uh, session so i'm in the folder set. when i double click this it opened the entire folder okay for me now i need to locate where i have to put the images now let me uh, go to where i save my image you can see here what my windows if you are not seeing uh okay this is on the c sorry okay this is on the c right now i have my uh softwares on the d so how do i go to that let me when you go to document you see here i have d so that is how I've name it so now go to what vms pnet ev food this is where i've put in my images based on the folder so you can see i have qum when i double click i have now to locate it within the pnet right when you double click the root you have this in place okay so the next folder to look out for is ops sorry opts okay when you double click this right you can see you have another session here you go to what we call the unit lab double click so now you go to add-ons double click now this is where you have your folders okay you can see you have one two three okay based on the what do you call the evng uh, you see the the torrent file you see is just in line with what the same uh, thing so wherever you download the image please make sure you put the image corresponded in that particular order don't put the image in a different folder please it should be in the same folder when this particular download is done that is when you are using what the torrent file to download the images you can see they're in a specific folder downloading so when you are done you put them in that folder on your machine so that you can copy it in the same folder so this is the path from the root you go towards opt unit lab add-ons then you have the folders now what you do here is uh, let me just use this with this one then later i'll go to my pnet environment so i can double click this i have my image when i double click this i don't have any image here so all i have to do is if i want this image on this very pnet environment i'll just i can right click go for copy and i what paste so it's going to ask me i'll say okay so it's going to transfer so let's say i want more than one image so i can highlight one press ctrl key and then what select the images and then i can actually drag into that interface and then go for okay So you can see now i have my images in there so yeah if i'm downloading all the images that i needed okay me i only load what i need i don't load everything so 
uh, is based on what I need and is based on what I'm going to load so for now let me leave it as it is so let me now I can close this because I'm downloading the image in there so when I'm done I'll close this so I'm going for okay now the next thing is to connect uh, to the EVNG interface now one when you go to the VM environment on and then let me log in once more so pnet now when you are here you cannot actually copy and paste command that you want okay which will not work for you so what I normally do is uh, I install my pnet sorry what I normally do is I install my putty so when I double click putty is open so now the same thing I have to SSH to uh, the device or uh, the pin so I'll put the IP address here dot seven four dot hundred so I'm going to go for open you can see this one as well I've received what uh, an SSH encryption algorithm I'll go for yes so here I'll provide my login so root password pnet okay so here I can actually copy and paste but uh, the text is too small for me so let me actually increase uh, the size so that we can actually have uh, an experience with this okay let me increase it to 18 apply apply better so this is more better okay so now here I can actually uh, copy and paste command in here now when you are done loading your uh, images there is a document which I'll also add to the link and then you can download you can see here installing images let me double click that okay this is not it okay let me see uh, okay yeah this is pin it so double click that and then let me open good right now good so you can see I've prepared a document here which I'll be adding so to load the files you can see the path is here so now when you download in the files you need to run this very command in that particular uh, folder so when you come down here I have um, the command that you have to type now you can see the first image we load we loaded in the what QUM uh, folder right so we have to actually go into that path in the command line and then uh, we need to extract the image okay we need to extract the image and then uh, we'll run this command to give it permissions then we'll to be ready to work okay so let me launch my putty so this is my putty here so as you can see uh, I can actually copy this command here okay and then copy launch my putty and then paste and then enter so you can see so that's the purpose of me installing what the putty so that uh, I can actually copy and paste command instead of tapping this very long command so let's check what is in here ls so you can see I have uh, these images they are zip files so they are dot g z so I need to extract so this is the command uh, this is the command I have to type to extract so I'm going to extract one or two for us to see so that will and I can remove the uh, the file itself then we can see how to load the image so I'm going to extract 
one of this and then one of that okay so what i'll do here is just bring that x z v f okay so now the file name right i don't i don't need to type this long file name i can actually uh copy here and then paste so you can see when i copy and paste is that actually what's extract the file for me so if i should ls this so you can see the difference between the file i've actually extract this file and now it's looking like this